This episode of Rain's Indie Spotlight is all about that N++, which is finally coming to the Xbox One after being out on PlayStation 4 and PC for quite some time. It releases on Xbox tomorrow, October 4th, for $15, and is developed and published by MetaNet Software, and a copy of this game was provided by the developer for the purpose of this video. So N++ is the sequel to the Xbox 360 smash hit N+. It is a fast-paced, action-packed puzzle platformer where you play as a ninja whose goals make it to the end of the level so you have to dart through every obstacle the game throws at you from homing rockets, lasers, uh, robots, and a whole slew of things that will kill you instantly and while you do that you can collect gold to extend your timer in the level and finally escape now the best thing about n plus plus is the challenge and the gameplay and the controls it's so perfect i can't stress that enough the controls of this game are amazing it's all about the smooth physics definitely controlling the speed momentum and the inertia of your character and that awesome feeling of fluidly moving through each level whether it's wall bouncing or going off a jump to just perfectly collect all that gold and get to the end before anything can kill you now if, if you played the game on the 360 and plus you'll know exactly what to expect here nothing must have changed really it's the same core concept uh you pick a block of content and that block will feature five levels and you have two minutes to complete the five levels within that section and within the level there'll be these goal things that you can pick up that will extend your timer that'll also pop rank you as well on the global leaderboards that the game has because this this game is also very much about competing against your friend times or completing on the leaderboard times so you have two minutes to complete each of the set of five and you just keep on going and the challenges increase as you go. But what shouldn't be understated is the number of levels that this game features. N++ features a staggering amount of levels, over 4,000 to be exact, of these handcrafted, finely tuned levels across the four main game modes. You have solo, hardcore, co-op, and race. Now co-op, you work together to solve the puzzles, and race, you basically work against each other. It's more of a competitive thing. Now each one of those features around 1,400 levels by themselves. You have an M++ mode, an ultimate mode, and a legacy mode, and there's a whole bunch of content stuffed in there. The game also features a level editor and cross-network sharing of levels made on PlayStation Network, Xbox Live, and PC so you can play, you know, the best levels from the community uh, whenever you want to. They've also included over a hundred different color schemes for the game. If you want to play M++, on red and black, purple on pink, green on yellow, orange on green, you can do that because there is a color scheme for that. Of course, I picked like the default one uh, because that's how I played M plus in and that's just kind of how my brain just sees N plus so I kind of stuck with that although I did try it out for the purpose of the video I have some different color schemes there and also features a really cool soundtrack uh, electronica and stuff that goes well with with the game there's over 63 different songs but man this game is fantastic it's just like the first one and I know there's not a lot of improvement over the first game it is basically your standard sequel just more of an expansion but that game was so good and plus was so good that you know if it's not broke don't try to fix it so if you loved n plus you owe it to yourself to pick up n plus plus because you will find yourself uh, getting addicted to trying to beat these levels when I started playing the other night started playing it at 9 p.m. and before I knew it it was 4 a.m. where'd the time go I don't know I was trying my hardest to just conquer these levels and it always gives you 
that feeling of satisfaction when you beat a really tough level just like Cuphead did. And in this game, it's always going to be your fault that you died because the controls are just that good. You have to be a master of the ninja. You have to know how to conserve your momentum and use it to propel yourself up walls, to avoid the mines, to get quickly out of the way of a machine gun fire or a rocket launcher so you can dash your way to the switch and unlock the path to the door. It never got old, honestly. Never got old. It is such a great game that I am so happy it's finally come to Xbox because it, it's honestly been missing in its library. This game is unique. There's not, there's really nothing else like it, even though N Plus is who knows how old now, six years old, seven years old. Um, I know it's kind of basic, you know, it's, it's basically a flash game, but it's basically the perfect action packed platformer. And one of the things I really enjoy about N Plus Plus is how bite sized it is. You can just kind of sit down for a short gaming session, play two sections or three sections, and then go play something else. Even though I mentioned I did a huge gaming marathon when I first got the game on it, it's I think it's designed to be played in moments in between other games. So you don't kind of get stuck and rage at certain parts. Uh, you know, it's designed for you to hone your skills. And since the game features so many different modes, if you get tired of playing solo, you can just go to co-op with a friend. And that experience will be different because you have to work together and help each other get to the end of the level. And then it features a multiplayer mode, a competitive one, where you're trying to prevent your local co-op person from getting to the end. Now, unfortunately, one of the biggest drawbacks is that it doesn't feature online co-op like N Plus did. That is a huge negative because I had so much fun playing N Plus on the 360 with my buddies that it kind of sucks. I'm not going to be able to do that, and I don't know why it wasn't included considering it was in the original. So that is an absolutely huge oversight. Uh, you know, I, I don't know why they didn't include it. I, I think the game would have been better off for it. But you do have the level editor. You do have all the levels that people create on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. If you want to try out some user-created stuff. And man, some of those are pretty ridiculous. But at the end of the day, this is a absolute amazing game. You know, its gameplay is top-notch for these kind of puzzle platform games. It is bursting with content. It is well worth the $15 in my opinion. So if you're a fan of M+, do yourself a favor and pick this up immediately. Don't even think twice about it. Uh, you'll thank me when you uh, get the game and realize that, oh, here we are, M+, again. Uh, it's, it's great. And if you're a fan of platformers in general, pick this up too because I think this is like the gold standard for these type of games even though it's kind of a minimalist design and it's like a flash game it's still awesome to play it's still amazing to be able to conquer those scenarios where you're wall bouncing and running across the level by being chased by 10 homing rockets and lasers and robots and all these different things collecting the gold to extend your time and finally hitting that exit it is exhilarating when you finally beat some of those tough levels and for you people out there that are n plus pros it has a hardcore mode which basically changes the rules of the entire game so there's a lot here for your money so i definitely recommend this game uh, i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten i probably honestly would give this game a nine maybe an eight and a half if it had online co-op but it doesn't but either way it is a game that everybody should maybe have in their xbox one library it is that good so don't forget comes out tomorrow october 4th for 15 dollars on the xbox one that is my review for n plus plus i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did uh, leave me a, a like 
or dislike if you didn't enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new or haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope everybody has a fantastic rest of the day. And I'll see everybody in the next video. Later, guys.